An Unfinished Race by Ambrose Pierce. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. An Unfinished Race by Ambrose Pierce. James Van Wilson was a shoemaker who lived in Leamington, Warwickshire, England. He had a little shop in one of the byways leading off the road to Warwick. In his humble sphere, he was esteemed an honest man, although, like many of his class in English towns, he was somewhat addicted to drink. When in liquor, he would make foolish wagers. On one of his too frequent occasions, he was boasting of his prowess as a pedestrian and athlete, and the outcome was a match against nature. For a stake of one sovereign, he undertook to run all the way to Coventry and back, a distance of something more than forty miles. This was on the third day of September in 1873. He set out at once, the man with whom he had made the bet, whose name is not remembered, accompanied by Baron Wise, Alinan Draper, and Hammerson Burns, a photographer, I think, following him in a light cart or wagon. For several miles, Wilson went on very well, at an easy gait, without apparent fatigue, for he had really great powers of endurance, and was not sufficiently intoxicated to enfeeble them. The three men in the wagon kept a short distance in the rear, giving him occasional friendly chaff or encouragement, as the spirit moved them. Suddenly, in the very middle of the roadway, not a dozen yards from them, and with her eyes full upon him, the man seemed to stumble, pitched headlong forward, uttered a terrible cry, and vanished. He did not fall to the earth, he vanished before touching it. No trace of him was ever discovered. After remaining at and about the spot for some time, with aimless irresolution, the three men returned to Leamington, told their astonishing story, and were afterward taken into custody. But they were of good standing, had always been considered truthful, were sober at the time of the occurrence, and nothing ever transpired to discredit their sworn account of their extraordinary adventure, concerning the truth of which, nevertheless, public opinion was divided throughout the United Kingdom. If they had something to conceal, their choice of means is certainly one of the most amazing ever made by sane human beings. End of An Unfinished Race by Ambrose Pierce Recording by Britannia